Hi, it's Matt from TracyMatt.co.uk and here I have the LG Renoir or the LG KC910. Um, finally managed to get hands on one for a review for you. So let's start off with a quick unbox. And see we have the Renoir sitting right on top there, as you'd expect. Um, have a quick tour around that in just a moment. Have a look at what else is in the box first. Also on top we have this stylus, which is on um, like a lanyard or phone charm kind of style. Uh, strap there so you can actually connect this to the phone itself and then the stylus just pops out of the slide there. Um, it is telescopic and the stylus itself is quite well made um, but once it's at length it's quite good, quite weighty um, and you know, not a bad design for a stylus but uh, I'm not sh not convinced by this sort of uh, sheath that it's sitting in there. Um, I really would prefer to have um, a stylus um, in the device rather than on a charm, uh, but there we go. Also in the box we have battery, which is, let's just have a look, a lithium ion 1000 milliamp hour battery. We then have headphones. Now we have here are different size earbuds that come with and then we have the proprietary style connector there on one end that plugs into the device and an inline microphone with push button volume control on the side and the microphone is on the other side and we have plug-in headphones now the headphones are a standard three and a half mil jack as you can see there that plug into the inline microphone so we can use any headphones so it's effectively an adapter uh, and then we have the headphones themselves which are in-ear style pretty typical of uh, LG um, quite heavy and uh, if they're anything like the ones that we've had on previous models they are actually pretty decent so they're quite good to come with also in the box we have a USB to that proprietary connector for sync and charge we have the mains adapter, which again has that proprietary connector on one end and obviously a standard mains charger. And then finally we have CD-ROM, which is an 8cm CD-ROM. Um, bit of a problem for some with uh, slot loading CD and DVD drives, um, and these don't work in all DVD, CD, stroke CD players. Um, so that might be a slight problem for some, but there, that includes the uh, printed manual and uh, everything else in the box there. And last of all, we have a screen protector to adhere to the front of the display to stop us getting scratches and so you protect the screen. So here's the LG Ren White itself. I know we looked at this before at the launch, but uh, we have a bit more of a detailed look now. We have a forward facing VGA camera for video conferencing, then obviously we have loudspeaker. We weigh only 114 grams which is actually quite instantly noticeable because um, it is a fairly large device um, and it has got that generous display um, but it does feel kind of lightweight. Screen here is a 3 inch diagonal WQVGA so it's 240 by 400 pixels and it's hardened glass apparently. Obviously touch screen. We have a couple of buttons just underneath um, which we'll look at in more detail later but basically there's the phone keys and a menu button in the center. Small hole there is your microphone. In down this side we have a dedicated camera button, a lock button and a volume control. Two volume control buttons up and down. On the top we just have a button for releasing the back cover. On this side we have a cover over the headphone, sync and charge socket there and then below that we have cover over a micro SD card socket and installed we have an 8 gigabyte SDHC memory card nothing to speak of actually on the uh, bottom of the device there on the back we have an 8 megapixel camera um, with a proper flash and a uh, light sensor below that and Incidentally, we do have a lens cover which is accessed using this slider here. So it has the lens cover will protect the lens of the camera from dust and debris, which is quite good in these uh, devices, at least uh, 
You're not going to get dust and rubbish on there when it's in and out of your pocket all the time. Put the back off. A SIM card just goes under here, and the battery naturally goes in like so, and the back cover goes on very simply. And if we just power on. And while that's powering up, let's just mention the rest of the spec. As I say, it's only 114 grams, a size 107 millimeters top to bottom, 55 from side to side, and after that lovely tune, we have 14, just over 14 millimeters thick. Uh, we are tri-band, so we support 900, 1800, 1900 megahertz bands, but 3G is only 2100. We support Edge and HSDPA, GPRS, and so on. As I say, WQ VGA display on the front, 8 megapixel camera, and we do video recording at uh, QVGA at 120 frames a second and VGA at 30 frames a second. We have that Xeon flash and we have an ISO sensitivity of 1600. We do have built in GPS as well, which supports geotagging. And this is actually a DivX certified device, so we support DivX and X video playback and obviously MP3 WMA. We also have a built-in Dolby sound processor which is actually amazing. I've actually had a chance to demo one of these in the past um, and the audio enhancement with that Dolby processor is amazing um, but we'll talk about that more when we come to the review hopefully. Built-in Wi-Fi we've got stereo Bluetooth 2.0, USB 2.0 as well, micro SD card slot as I mentioned but apparently that will support up to 16 gig micro SD. Uh, TV out with a cable that obviously isn't supplied but you can get. Email support is IMAC or POP3 and SMTP. There is no support for exchange, direct push or anything like that. Uh, as I say, built in GPS, there is a calendar application and various other applications um, obviously built in. And if we just have a look at the... We'll just unlock. Okay, it's saying that we haven't got our SIM built in. We have the phone dialer, and then also you can dial the numbers on the screen. Screen, the touch screen is quite sensitive. Again, I'm only just using the centre of my finger there. I'm not using my finger now, so it's responding quite well to those presses. And every time I press, there is a, a haptic feedback, or there's certainly a little vibrate there just to confirm that I am pressing, so you can do it without looking. And obviously you can hear that there is a click there when I press. Go back to the home screen. Cancel all that. Then we have a phone book, which obviously doesn't have anything in at the moment. Messaging. So we can create new messages, go to inbox, mailbox, and various other things there. Go back. And then we have different communicate methods, call history, messaging. We have entertainment, we have our utilities, we have our settings. And going back through, we have browser, we have Google, we have alarms, we have memo, we have tools, video camera, movie, games and apps. And we have some quite cool games uh, installed. We have mToy games. If we look at flying dices. We can actually, oops, can actually use the uh, built in G sensor to throw the dice. So that's a, kind of a, a neat take on these G sensing names. So that's kind of cool. Um, so we quit out of that. And go back to the main menu. You can actually, uh, as I understand it, customise this display so you can actually add and drag widgets onto the screen similar to the uh, sort of Samsung phones. Um, obviously haven't had much chance to play with this so I can't talk to you too much about the uh, obviously display settings and other menu settings but give you a basic idea. So I'll be trying out the LG Renoir over the next couple of weeks and our review will be online soon.